Hello, class members. I'm here to introduce you to fall 2021 and what our experience will be like this semester, as far as I know. First and foremost, you probably read in the papers that Northwest Arkansas Community College has a mask mandate now. We'll all be masked when we're on campus and especially when we're in the classroom, including me. I don't like having to wear a mask, but I'm going to. I didn't like getting vaccinated. I mean, it did hurt a little bit, but I did, and I'm even going to get a booster. This disease is too dangerous to play with, but whether you agree or not, You've got to wear your mask if you're going to come to campus. OK, so what I want to do is take you on a tour that shows you exactly what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be to take the class. Whether you choose to take the class online or in the classroom. And here we are at Northwest Arkansas Community College at their web page. I'm going to click on log in and because I want to show you a number of different things, I'm going to click on my NWAC. And then I'm going to log in. When you log into my NWAC, you get to see just about everything. Of course, you, you see less than I'll see since I'm an employee. Here is where the student email is, right there, right under Launchpad. The employee email is below it, but you probably won't even see that. EagleNet is where I think you register, but I'm not sure. Need help? Let's click on need help. OK, they haven't finished setting it up yet. Success planner is probably the best way to get in touch with your advisor when you have questions. And Canvas is where we're going now. All right, notice that you have tiles for every class. These are my classes. In particular, these are the fall classes that I teach along with my combined intermediate algebra and college algebra class that I'm still working on and so it won't show until Monday. I'm going to choose one of these classes because all of my classes work the same way. I think I'll choose the Saturday class right here. I'm going to open it by clicking on it. And here we go. Notice you have two menus. You have this gray menu. And you have this inner menu. And you have this little menu of buttons up here. And if you, no matter what class you're in, you will see start here, student resources, syllabus policies, and Canvas support, along with professors virtual help sessions. This is where we can meet online. You know, um, You'll see that at certain times I'm on campus, but you might not be able to meet me at those times. So we can always get together on Microsoft Teams. Well, how do you get Microsoft Teams? We'll talk about that too. All right, this 
when you click on start here, this is what you get. I'm going to click on student view so that you'll see what you're going to see. Click on start here, you see start here. And if you actually click on start here, you're going to see the steps you need to follow in order to launch my math lab and begin work. Start here. Okay. There's also first day help, help with the first day program. That's how you get into my math lab. You'll click here for the instructions. That's one place. The instructions are located elsewhere also, and we're going to go there. It's two pages with pictures, and if you follow these instructions exactly, you will have no problems getting into my math lab. There's a completely new method for registering in my math lab, so everything you know from before is no longer true. Oh well, I managed to get out, but I'm going back in. It's not going to kick me out. So start here, here we are. Beneath start here is a video I made to show you how to use the basic Texas Instruments graphing calculator function. OK, so now back to start here. Right, back to start here. Let's go home. Start here. Let's start here too. Oh, you can't see this. That's right, you can't see it. I didn't publish it and I can't make it disappear. It's very annoying. But first day help, and then week one, algebra notes and videos, week two, algebra notes and videos. I want to show you this also. Here are the notes. The notes consist of me doing the homework problems. When I make the videos, these are the sheets I work on. So you'll actually see me doing the homework. <laughs> OK, I'll get it eventually. Start here again. Here are the videos. OK, the videos of what we're going to talk about. Oh my gosh, tomorrow. You probably can't hear the words that I'm saying in the videos, but you'll hear these. OK, I have one of these for each week so that you'll have lots of help from me doing your homework. Now, let's go back to home. And announcements, there will be a welcome announcement here. Syllabus, well, then we should go to start here and follow these steps. Look at the Canvas menu on the left and click on Syllabus. Click on and read the short syllabus. Then click on and read and then print, if possible, the instructions for registering in my math lab. Very simplified from what they used to be. Then click on First Day. And then click on the green button that says Launch Courseware. Follow the My Math Lab registration instructions. 
And when you've registered, click on the orange button that says Open My Lab and Mastering. Wander around My Math Lab for a while and become possible for the many with the many, many supports it offers you. And when you're done, read through the other documents in the syllabus because they're all very important. We're going to do all that. Here's the course syllabus, and here are the documents in the course syllabus. The short syllabus is here. It tells you all the most important information that you need to know immediately. All about how you're graded, what the attendance policy is, um, warnings about the three dangerous grades, more about homework, quizzes, chapter exams, the required final exam, discussions, and extra credit, how much they count, and what are the facts about them. For instance, you can take the chapter exams twice. You don't have to. You do have to take them once. But if you don't like your grade, you get to take them again. How about that? What to purchase and what not to purchase. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do not purchase an access code. Do not purchase a textbook. They will all come to you automatically when you click on first day and then launch courseware. You'll be paying for them at a big discount. Along, you know, the way that you pay for your tuition. Most people have a tuition payment system or um, financial aid pays for their tuition and their books and their My Math Lab. So pretty much this will all be automatic. All right, back to syllabus. Here's the class schedule. This is what we're going to do every day of the semester and what the important days are, like um, August 30th is um, uh, the last day to drop with a 100% refund. And then September 7th is the last day to drop with an 80% refund, and it's the deadline for the week one and two um, assignments. And so on and so forth. We meet on Saturdays, so you'll see the work that we're going to do on the calendar. The deadlines are colored. Fall break, yay! Thanksgiving break, yay! And final exams, not yay. You will notice that your exams, and I meant to color this in, so I'm going to do that, your exams will take place every four weeks. Week four is when you'll have exam one. Week two, uh, week eight is when you'll have exam two. And week 12 is when you'll have exam three. And then week 16 is when you'll have exam four. Uh, well, exam four is the final exam and it's required if you want to pass the class, you have to take the final exam. Even if you think you won't do well, you have got to at least try it. But everyone in here is going to make an A, right? Right. Now, of course, other classes meet on other days, the ones that meet on campus, and then the online classes you'll see your uh, homework just by the week. 
and you'll still have the important days colored in. Now here's how you get to my math lab. I'm going to click student view. We're going to click on first day, which is right underneath syllabus. You'll see this for your class, whatever your class is and you'll click on launch courseware, which will not work for me in student view, I don't think. Let's see. What do you know? This is the site you'll see after you're registered. So, uh, yeah, you're going to register before you actually see this, but it's a very short process now. You do not have to worry about an access code. For all of you who have used my math lab before, no more access code. Woo! You can click on all assignments. Or you can, and I recommend this at first, click on Open My Lab in Mastering. Because that will let you see everything. Of course, you'll have to say, I accept. And now comes the registration process. You'll either fill in your, your username and password from having used Pearson before or you're going to create a new password, a, a, a new account. Let's see if I can do this. Email address. Sign in with your Pearson account. Well, I don't have an account. Okay, you're not going to have these problems. It's bullying me because I'm not even a student. So now, I'm going to get out of student view and I'm going to continue with a brief tour of my math lab. First day, even I have to get in that way. Launch courseware. Now I can choose to go to assignment manager as the teacher, or I can go to your all assignments. Let's go there. This is what you'll see if you click on all assignments. You'll see, oh, what a concept, all assignments, along with their due dates. That is the day when we talk about them in class. There's practice exam one that counts 5% of your grade, and exam one counts 15% of your grade. All the homeworks together count 5% of your grade. They count 0.2% each. There's another practice exam and the midterm exam. Another practice exam and exam three. And then finally, the practice final exam and the final exam. Always be aware of the due dates. The due dates will be, the official due date, will be the day we discuss these in class. If you're in, for instance, the Monday, Wednesday class, you'll see Monday and Wednesday dates. If you're in the combined intermediate algebra and college algebra class, you'll see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because it's a four day a week class. Interesting. We meet on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then we meet on the computer in, in Microsoft Teams on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
interesting. Okay, what if you don't want to go there? All right, let's do this. I want to go here and show you a few things. You've got so much stuff to help you. Here's assignments where you go to do your homework and your tests and your quizzes. Chapter contents is the book. The book is available right here. Right here on my math lab. You don't need to go buy it unless you want to. The e-text is also the book. And my very favorite is Multimedia Library. You can go to any chapter. Let's take chapter three. And any section, how about 3.3? .3? And then you can decide what you want to see, or maybe you want to see all of it. Let's click select all. So we're going to look at topic videos, learning activities, PowerPoints, animations, interactive figures, multimedia textbook, video, chapter test prep videos, interactive figures, and personal inventory assessments. Wow, fine now. There, you can click on any of these. The textbook, the animations. I like the animations a lot. Here's the There's a voiceover too, but I don't think you can hear it. Takes you step by step through solving a system. For instance, every section of the book has all this for you, including a test prep video and just all sorts of other really great stuff. That's multimedia library. I don't know what purchase options are, but, uh, and, and discussions I'm going to make invisible because you're not going to have discussions here. I'll show you where the discussions are. Let's look at some homework. Let's just really quickly look at section 2.4. This is called function arithmetic. And so we're going to do these problems. I already have videos up showing you how that I made. OK, but I want to show you this. Here's the problem you're going to work on and you'll work on it on your scratch paper in front of you. But if you need extra help, there's Skill Builder that takes you back to previous skills you would have studied that you need to master that, the homework problem. And let's see, I'm a little unsure about where question helps is because they've changed all this. Help Center. No, that's to show you how to work the problem. Help me solve this. There it is. Help me solve this. View an example um, and get more help. If you click on Ask My Instructor, you can send me a message. Write to my email. Type the problem. Type your problem with this problem. Click send and it will appear in my email along with a link to the problem you're looking at that gives you trouble. However, help me solve this and view an example should help you a lot. Skill Builder is the most 
popular helper among students. OK. So now, back we go. So clicking on Launch Courseware is will take you to registration. And the steps are for students. First you go there, then it takes you to the registration process. Then you go to your work. Then you go to My Math Lab and start working. What else? You're going to take your exams with Proctor U, but that's going to appear in my math lab with the tests, which right now I have blocked because I'm still working on them. You won't have to go here. You can go straight there, but you can click on Proctor U to make your Proctor U account. Every time you take a test, it'll cost you $4.25. Um, if you take the test at home. If you're taking this class like an online class, then you're going to be using ProctorU. If you choose to take the test in the classroom, it won't cost you anything. It'll be on paper. OK. Discussions. Every week you're going to have a discussion. Here is your discussion the first discussion you're going to have. These are troublesome times. Why are you going to college now? Well, when are you going to go? When there's no trouble? Life is full of trouble. There's always going to be one trouble or another. You just have to adapt and survive. Life is a challenge. I know, I'm old. I've seen so much. Um, yeah, so this discussion will not appear until tomorrow, August 21st. Then it will appear to everybody in all the classes, all my classes. Every week you'll have a new discussion. This way you can get to know each other and work with each other. All sorts of studies show that students are more likely to do well in a class when they know the other people there. Modules takes you to the modules. Homework for week one, homework for week two. Let's take a look at that. Here we have the notes, here we have the videos. These are made by me. And you've got Success Planner. And we already talked about that. So, this is your semester. Let's go back to syllabus. This is a link. Well, first, if you need a new computer, and if you need a, a better Wi-Fi, there are funds avail available from the government to help you pay for that. So here's a link for that. It goes to the library, our library at NWAC, and if you scroll down to the very bottom, right here, Internet Connectivity Options Off Campus. And here is the Emergency Broadband Benefit. All right, it opened in May. It's still working. It's going to go until there's no more money. Hopefully there's still some money. OK, the COVID-19 instructions. Here's a link to the COVID-19 instructions. Um, here's the official NWAC statement regarding Proctor U and the official NWAC statement regarding uh, uh, videotaping, videotaping. Boy, is that from the past. Recording, video recording classes. Um, Professor Barb's virtual tutorial set. Oh yeah, that's if you need help, 
you're going to click there and meet with me there. And, 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 we go back. Math Center Tutoring, there's a link to that. NWAC, uh, the, uh, the two NWAC official calendars are there, although I also put the dates in our class schedule. The standard course outlines, something we have to publish, and the full official syllabus that has a whole lot of this stuff combined in one. Because I'm required to do it as one document as well. OK, I know you're going to have other questions, but now you know how to get here. You go to log in, you go to the NWAC web page, you log in, you click on my NWAC, or if all you're going to do is go to Canvas, you can click on Canvas. Or if you want to go to your student email, you can click there. That will take you here. Click on Canvas. Or if you've already just clicked on Canvas, it will take you automatically to here, where you'll see all your classes for the fall. I have a lot more classes. Click on any one of them. This is the Monday Wednesday class and this is what they'll see. See, it's just like the other class. And the online classes, let's go to the online class and online class. Here is one of the online classes. Same thing, looks exactly the same. This introduction will work for all my classes. In particular, let's go back to the syllabus for a minute. If you click on short syllabus, at the very top, you'll see all the information you need on how to get in touch with me. Okay? So for instance, there's my email address. There's my message phone. All right, you can text me there or leave a voice message. Or, ah, something I almost forgot. There's an inbox here in Canvas. You can go here and email me directly from Canvas. Then I can see who you are and what class you're in from the very beginning. So that's it. I'll probably think of a million things after I sign off, but right now I want to welcome you to fall 2021 and to school in the midst of COVID-19 and the Delta variant with the Lambda variant coming on and then another one after that. It's sort of like hurricanes. We just have to batten down and be determined to go on with our lives. So I'll talk to you if you're in the Saturday class, I'll talk to you tomorrow. If you're in the Monday, Wednesday class, I'll talk to you on Monday. And if you're in the combined class, I'll talk to you on Monday. And if you're in my uh, um, online classes, I'll talk to you anytime. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>